guys, it is Epsilon Gaming here, and I am back with another How to Code a Minecraft Plugin Tutorial. In this video, I'll be teaching you guys all about permissions and how to limit a player from doing a command or changing what happens in an event if a player has a certain permission. So let's get started and make the new Java project. Let's name it Permissions. And hit Next. Then let's add the external jars of spigot or whatever version you are using. Hit open and finish. Now that we have that, let's open the src new package me.yourname.perms. And let's make the main class. So let's name that main and finish. <clears throat> So what I'm going to be doing is basically I'm going to make it so on a command I'm going to show you guys how to make it so only certain players can run commands and different things on events. So let's get started and make a main extend Java plugin. And since we're going to have a event in here, let's implement listener. And import all those and let's get started so public void on enable open and close parenthesis and open bracket hit enter so let's just say bucket dot get server dot <coughs> dot get logger dot info and let's just make it say permissions is enabled and hit that so let's start with a command so public boolean on command cmd oh wait command sender sender command cmd string command label and string open and close bracket args now that we have that let's make it return true and end it with a semicolon now import commands and command sender now that we have that let's start with the code so let's just make it a command that'll give a player a certain item so if cmd dot get name dot equals ignore case once again if you don't know how to do this I suggest watching the first few videos of the tutorial and then coming back because in those videos I just teach about how to make a command and what all this means so if the command equals ignore case let's just say diamonds and let's open a bracket so if the command equals diamonds whatever is in here will happen now let's make it only players with a certain permission can use this command so if actually we have to get if it's only a player sending the command first so if sender instance of player and open the second bracket now import player and let's continue Right there, that was just saying if whoever sent the command was a player, then it will work. So let's get the player. So player p equals sender, actually equals parentheses player sender. This is saying the player, which is now called p, is the sender, which is a player. So we can do whatever we want to him. So if he is a player, any types slash diamonds, this will happen. So now let's make it so we can only do it if he has a certain permission. So if p dot has permission, and then in quotations whatever you want the permission to be. So let's just call it diamonds dot give, and open the bracket, a new bracket. So if he does have that permission now, we can run whatever we want to do to him in here. So let's just give him some diamonds. So p dot get inventory which is now calling his inventory dot add item stack so let's type new item stack 
new space item capital I stack capital S all one word open a parenthesis now let's do material dot diamond comma 64 so that what this is saying is it is giving him diamonds and he's giving him 64 of them I'll make a new video later explaining all item stacks so don't worry about that too much now but let's just say he will receive diamonds so let's import item stack make sure you import inventory item stack or it will not work correctly and let's close the line with a semicolon so now if he has permission he will get 64 diamonds let's also update his inventory so there isn't any glitches so p dot update inventory and now his inventory will update as soon as he gets the diamonds and there won't be any glitches i'll teach you guys about inventories in a later video too let's also send him a message so p dot send message chat color dot gray plus you have been given space plus chat color dot aqua plus diamonds now if you want to add a cooldown to this I will also do that in a later video but for now we're just going to worry about the permissions so now we worried about if he does have the permission but now if he does not have the permission let's make it do something else so if you hover this bracket it will hover this one so that's saying this is one line so on the other side of this type else ELSE and then open a new bracket and hit enter so now this is if he does not have the permission so let's do p dot send message chat color dot red plus you do not have the permission you do not have permissions okay and let's close that line and let's return false <clears throat> Now, the command of this is done. So if a player types slash diamonds, if he has permission, it'll give him some diamonds. If he does not, it'll say you do not have permission and return false. So that is it. Now let's also make it, just as an example, when a player joins a server, since we're so used to the MOTD plugin in the last two videos, it should be pretty simple. All right, I am back. Sorry about that, guys. I just had to recode all of this because my Eclipse crashed. But let's get back to what we're doing. So public void player join player join event e and then open that. So when a player joins a server, this will happen. I'm going to save it as I go on now and let's import player join event. And for some reason that's being oh because we forgot event handler at event handler and there we go now import both of those and let's continue so <clears throat> player p equals e dot get player so now when a player joins the server player p this will happen if now let's see if he has permission so if p dot has permission let's what do we want to do let's just say he's a donator so donator dot join if player has permission donator dot join let's make it broadcast a special message just for him and give him some diamonds so bucket dot get server dot broadcast message chat color dot aqua plus donator and then let's put his name let's space that plus p dot get name plus has joined the server And now let's give also give him some diamonds just because he is a special donator. So let's do p dot get inventory dot add item new item stack open parentheses material dot diamonds diamond comma sixty four p dot update inventory. And so now if a player joins a server and he has the permission donator dot join 
it'll give him a special message and say p dot get inventory it'll add diamond to his inventory so now else if he is not a donator let's just say a player has joined the server fuck it dot get server dot broadcast message a player has joined the server now we're not even going to make it in color because they're just a normal player they don't get any diamonds or anything so if he has donated or join this will it'll give him diamonds and broadcast a special message if he does not if he's just a normal player it'll just say he joined the server now let's make the plugin.yml so src new actually let me save this real quick now let me do why did that not import I'll fix that in a second new file plugin.yml name version name author command so let me go back to main real quick and see what is going on but one thing I forgot to do was register the event so let's type in public void on enable bucket dot get server dot get plugin manager dot register events open parentheses this comma this now that is saying that the main class will run this event now let's get back to our plugin dot yml so it'll be name would be terms i guess version 1.0 the main would be me.jpreany13.perms.main author your name and command so let's hit enter space it twice and the command is diamonds or I believe it's diamonds and space it two more times and type description and let's just say gives player diamonds and we forgot description of the plugin. So that would just be testing permissions. You do not need a description of the plugin, but let's just give them one. So let's go back and see why event handler is giving us a bit of an error. It's just because it is not imported. That should be good now. My Eclipse is being a little bit laggy, but it seems to be working. So now, let's export that to the desktop. Let's name it... Perm... Let's not name it Permissions, let's just name it Perm. You can name it whatever you like. Let's bring that to the desktop. And where is it? There it is. So let's open our server. Open the plugins. Drag that in and start the server. Now, just kidding, the server should already be started. My mistake on that. So let's reload the server and de op my alt. respawn and join the server so a player has joined the server so since we don't have any permissions let's do slash diamonds and you do not have permission now let's give my alt the permissions diamonds dot diamonds dot give slash diamonds and you have been given diamonds there we go for that look at all the diamonds we can get now let's give him the permission menu add p peter deru 
donator.join. So I just clear our inventory, disconnect, come back on the server, and donator Peter Daru has joined the server and it gave us some diamonds. So that's some glitch with the different plugin, don't worry about that right now. But we got the diamonds, everything was working, so if you like this video and want to see more, please like, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends. Thank you guys and goodbye.